What is up guys and gals? So how do you tell if you have a gear issue? Well, one way to do it is to just kind of crank it and you'll feel maybe like a little skip or a hop. Another way is, if you look right there, I'm holding onto the rotor, so it's not going anywhere. See that, that handle doesn't really go, it doesn't have a lot of play in it. But if you get to the spot where the gears have an issue, you'll see a lot of play in that handle. So let's see if it's just that, and that's all we need to change out on this reel, and how to fix that. The reel I'm working on today is a 13 Fishing Kalon O, or Ohm, 3000 size. So to get the handle off, I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this. Pull this out. Just like so. And we're going to remove this rotor so we can open this side plate up. And this we just kind of pull up. It's to the right to loosen it. I'm kind of rocking as I pull that up. And basically what I'm looking for is to see if there's anything else that may be the issue, or that may be causing an issue for it. And now I'm gonna work on getting these screws off to get the uh, to get the side plate open. And when I take these off, I'm gonna I'm going to lay them out just to make sure that they're all either the same size, and if they're not, then where do they go. I believe those are the three screws that take this reel apart. We're going to have an extra one here that's very small that takes that piece out. And they all look to be the same size. Whenever you're doing that small screw in there, it's a soft kind of material. So just make sure that you kind of add some pressure down, some downward pressure to it before you start screwing it out. Down that comes. And we have one more underneath there. And that one is a different size than the other three. Now let's pull this up. Whoo! Nice. Look at that lovely little chip out of the, the gear there. That's kind of cool. I wonder what could do that. All right, so I was able to pull that out. I was trying to rotate that down in case I needed to undo the screw that's in there to get this out. Man, I wonder how that broke off like that. Had to come from right here, right? Had to come from the pinion part. All right, let's unscrew this so we can pull that out. We're gonna check the other gears as well to make sure there's nothing else we may need, but as it stands, I know that I'm going to be replacing the the pinion gear and the drive gear. And I want to see if the crosswind gear needs to be replaced as well. So 
let's check this crosswind gear and see if there's any damage to it. Don't really see any damage to this. I think this will be alright. But what I will do when I order parts is get a crosswind gear as well, just in case. Alright, so I think all we're going to need here will be this piece, the drive gear, and the pinion gear. Hmm, what do you think caused that? 